Well, good morning, everybody. It's we're having kind of light rain this morning, and I hope it isn't too overcast to uh, to uh, for you to see some of these colors. Um, I just got some things out of the kiln and uh, wanted to just share them with you. Um, this is a bowl that I did a, a long time ago, and you've seen this in another video. Then I showed it in the same video. This is my U-turn uh, pedestal that I put on the bottom of this bowl because I knew I wasn't going to have time to do the nesting bowls. And this is three coats of Albany Slip. But I wanted to show you too, besides how it came out, I like the way this kind of burnt down here on the bottom and broke over that. Um, but I also wanted to show you, or I guess make the argument that it's good to, if you're gonna have things that are fired, um, that have the same glaze on them, that it's a good idea to fire them on the same shelf in the same kiln uh, maybe even at, you know at the same time because look at how different the inside of this one came out compared to the inside of this one now I may have had my glaze thinner on this one than I did here I honestly can't remember but these were fired in in two different batches and they were probably not on the same shelf definitely not the same firing so if you want things to come out where they're matching or to be a set you need to get them as close together as possible in the kiln but at least do it in the same in the same fire i love the way that sounds uh so those this they, they would still be nice together but they just they're just not the same <clears throat> let's see this is kind of a, a an experiment right here this is our old friend uh blue surf and this one this but the difference is between this here's here's some blue surf from from a former video um i want you to if you can see really close see in in this candle holder you can see these little uh white spots they're just lighter spots i hope you can see that see up upright point with my little finger there you can see right up there some of those little spots this is blue surf with nothing added to it and notice the difference in the shine and the depth of color <clears throat> this is blue surf with nothing added to it this one had crackle matte clear and that would be mako's crackle matte clear it it was just a light coat on top of um, three coats of blue surf. So, so it didn't get rid of the shine totally, but it did give it a kind of a interesting, a very interesting uh, visual texture. So there's that little, <laughs> I burned all my candles down but that's how that would fit in there and then your little snuffer would go like that. So there's the little snuffer that, that I chose to go with this one. So there are those two things. Um, and you've already seen this little box in a previous video, so I'm not gonna talk about that one anymore. Another little candle holder that I showed you how to make in a video, uh, came out this is ice blue and it is a coyote color but it also has and this little golden dust that that you see on here and here's some little looks like gold dust this uh, was Chino cream and I had it just on the rim 
and the chino cream was around here and I think I put some around here too and it just it ran all the way down but it gave it the nicest little soft color and and I wish I had a long taper. You have to kind of melt some wax to make that stick in there. Oh, and I want to tell you something else. When you, when you are, let's see if I'm still on camera here. Yeah. When you get this, you have to glaze both sides of this. So you're going to have some little spots on the back and my kiln manager or my clay manager who loaded the kiln um, used a ceramic stilt rather than a metal stilt so it made these big spots on the back well I ground them off and used a sharpie a, a gold sharpie because this has that gold dusty stuff on it I used a gold sharpie to sort of mute those little spots thank goodness it goes on the bottom so it won't show and then there's our little there's our little candle holder <laughs> wish that wasn't round on the bottom but anyway you get the idea and the little bow back is the purpose of it when these things were invented somewhere around a long time ago <laughs> i'd have to look that up uh, they were designed to catch drips uh, from the candle to keep them from making a big mess and dripping down the side of the candle holder. So they made these little decorative bobecks. It, it became very popular in the in the uh, oh in the 1800s. They were made out of crystal and <clears throat> I don't know what they were made of before then. But but there's our little um, there's our little candle holder and bow bag. This is ice blue with chino cream on it. I'll put it in there, it fits better in that one. And then these, this is uh, Sunrise Chino and it is a coyote color. It has a sort of a satin finish. Oh, by the way, this, this ice blue has kind of a satin finish too. The places that are shiny that's where the chino cream is and that and it just looks like gold dust sprinkled on there it's very pretty there was just a minimum amount of chino cream on there and then around the top let's see i have snowy plum around the top of this and you can see some different colors and it looks like blues and uh, violet sort of a merlot color but it isn't merlot um, but these turned out beautifully the glaze is very pretty and here's the little here's the little snuffer that goes to that it's got a little bird it's got a little bird on the top of it I don't particularly care for the sh the snowy plum around the top of this the colors are just not that great together and, but I kind of like the way it sort of clumped. It sort of looks like melted wax on the top of that. But I'll tell you, don't, just because you don't like something doesn't mean that you should censor it and take it out of your collection or, or whatever you take to a show um, for selling because, you know, you might not care for something, but somebody else may come along and they're just gonna go, wow, I love that. And so you just tell them what the price is and and they'll just be happy and you'll be happy. And then, oh, here's another. This is either a soap dish or a little uh, spoon rest for your stove top. Um, this is Albany Slip. And <clears throat> the the white speckledy stuff, I just splashed some chino cream across it and it gave it a little bit of color variation there. I love the way Albany Slip breaks over everything. So that's very pretty. Um, okay, so we have 
some of you have probably seen one of these. This is a, an atomizer. <clears throat> you put a little bit of thinned glaze in here. It has to be thinned, otherwise you blow your brains out trying to, trying to use it. Um, <clears throat> you can also pour it into that little hole. But the idea, <clears throat> excuse me, is to blow through here and it, the air goes across this, this little tube that goes down into the, the glaze. And by suction, by, it creates a vacuum and you can spray uh, liquid onto whatever you're going to put it on. Well, this is tourmaline. This is a garlic, a garlic uh, storage jar. And this is tourmaline glaze underneath. It's kind of a greenish color. And the and I used chino cream in the atomizer and sprayed all over, all around it. And it uh, turned out really nice. You just get random little splotches on there, and these happen to be gold. I don't know if you can tell that with the light that we have today, but be sure and do these things with the lids on them, unless you want it to end up on the inside too. But this is, this is little garlic holder. Okay, the piece de resistance is this one. Remember the oatmeal video that I made where I had this oatmeal glaze all around the rim here and it was thick and it was cracking and coming off. So I sprayed it with um, I sprayed it with hairspray and mashed it with the saran wrap to make it stick once it got saturated with hairspray. This is iron luster all over. Oh, that's gorgeous. This looks better out here than it did in the house. Wow, that's pretty. So iron luster then in a stripe kind of about a inch and a half it had smoky merlot which is a potter's choice color and then around the edges i was afraid to put this too far down because i didn't i didn't know how much it was going to run but i probably could have put a little more around the outside edge but i was being cautious but this turned out beautifully i just love how the merlot blended with that oatmeal and it, it it looks like it's crackly but it, and you can feel just a little bit of texture but it's very smooth and totally sealed so this you could definitely use uh, for food even the smoky merlot is crackled a little bit uh, in this in this little ring of smoky merlot but that just came out beautifully. I'll have to write that one down and use it on some other things too. I love how that came out. Okay, so that's all for this one. And... Uh, <clears throat> Just to recap, this is ice blue with uh, chino cream, tourmaline with uh, chino cream in the atomizer splattered on it. Of course, that's the iron luster with the smoky merlot and oatmeal. This is sunrise chino by Coyote with snowy plum around the edge. This is Albany slip with a little bit of chino cream splashed across there. And this one is our blue surf with that crackle mat on top of it. And that came out real well. And of course this is our this is my my U-turn uh 
alternative on the pedestal bowl. I love that. I think that would make a very nice fruit bowl or a salad bowl or some, any kind of a serving dish. And you've already seen this one. And in a few minutes, I'm going to record a, a video on uh, how to make how to make how to make these little guys. So I'll be back in a few minutes, and it'll be on a separate video. Thanks for watching. Share, like, and subscribe, uh, the, and make a comment if you have a comment or a question. That really helps. Uh, our rating and that also helps to let us know what you like to watch so thanks for watching bye bye now